In 2010, there were a couple students, vocal students, who started pitching this idea online, on social, on the message boards, that it'd be so cool to do a gold rush for the Duke game. We had given out gold shirts before to students, and I remember thinking it just brought a, a different visual energy to the student section. If our team came out in gold, and our students were in gold, it's almost like we're all part of the team. And so they wanted to do a gold rush for the Duke game. Welcome to as heated and an environment as you will see in college basketball. Here at a college park with Duke in town to take on the Terps. This building is fired up for this game. And the fan bases hate each other, which is not <laughs> insignificant as well. I know the students that came up with the idea were over the moon. To have the sea of gold and then have the team run out in gold was something that was just like visually really awesome. And of course, we won. Here's Vasquez with a runner off the glass, and it's good! Maryland wins it 79 to 72. When you win things that have potential traditions attached to them, it instantly becomes a tradition. So how could you not do the gold rush the next year? It's really cool to carry on a tradition that's student driven that we've been doing for years and looking out in the crowd and all the students have their gold t-shirts on, our fans whip out their gold. So last year our gold rush was against Illinois and it was such a perfect game. Uh, we had Anthony Cowan hit that three. Cowan for the tie. Oh! The crowd was absolutely going nuts. Moments like that are what continue to make the Gold Rush so special.